Alright, what's up guys? We're back with some more of The Walking Dead. We're gonna continue on our awesomeness. Continue. Yeah, that's right. Ew. That's so gross. Mmm, scrumptious. Man! Hi there! Did you kill it? I don't know. I think so. You better have... Sometimes they come back. Have you killed one? No, but they get shot a lot. <gasps> You've been That's all by funny. yourself through this? Yeah, I want my parents to come home now. I think that might be a little while, you know? Oh. Look. I don't know what happened, but I'll look after you until then. What should we do now? Okay. We need to find help before it gets dark. Yeah, it's not safe at night. Damn right. Let's go. Stay close to me. All right. Like a boss. Wait up, fam. Come in, hon. You stupid bitch. Wait up. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to call you that. You're a pretty girl. Hey, bro. You guys. Oh, man. I ain't never getting home to mama at this rate. This sucks. Oh, it's hot dish night. What's the matter? Should I stay? What? Should I stay? I don't want to sleep in the treehouse tonight, but I don't know if I should leave. What if my parents come home? I won't leave you alone. Well, let's go somewhere safe that's close, okay? That's a good idea. Hey, man! Holy shit! Don't eat us! We're not gonna hurt you. Yeah. Thought for a second you and the little one were both gonna give us the chomp. Do you know what the hell this is? No idea. So you've seen them then? You could say that. I'm Sean. Sean Green. Lee, this is Clementine. I'm Chet. We shouldn't be out in the open like this. How about you help us clear the way, and we'll take you and your daughter out of here and down to my family's farm. It should be safer there. I'm not a dad. I'm... Just some guy. Just some guy. Some guy? Yeah. She's alone? Let's get going. Staying put for too long is a mistake. All right. What do you want to do? I... The monster's coming. We gotta go. Lee, quick, let's go. Just some guy? It seems like you saved a bunch of lives today. Alrighty then. See, there's no rules, you just run shit over. Achievement unlocked. Motherfuckers.
Hey, Sean, I'm gonna run on home. My mama's gonna be in a snit. No sweat, man. I'll catch you tomorrow night. It was nice to meet you both. <laughs> Thank God you're okay. I was worried it'd be bad here, too. Been quiet as usual the past couple days. Old Brecken down the way thinks his mare's gone lame, but that ain't nothing new. I wouldn't have made it back without Chet. Well, I'm glad you took him with you then. You've brought a couple guests. Your boy is a lifesaver. Your life boy's a lifesaver. Glad he could be a help to somebody. So it's just you and your daughter then? Oh, not his daughter. He's, well, just some guy who found her alone. Honey, do you know this man? Yes. Okay then. Smart. Well. So smart. Looks like you hurt your leg pretty bad there. Uh, yeah, it's not doing so good. I can help you out. Sean, run on in and check on your sister. You, take a seat up on the porch and I'll go see what I have. Let's have a look. Yeah, this is swollen to hell. It hurts like hell. I bet it does. What did you say your name was? Your name is it's Lee. Lee. Nice to meet you, Lee. I'm Herschel Green. Uh, Herschel How'd this Herschel. happen? Car accident. That's so. Where are you headed before the car accident? I was getting out of Atlanta. The news says stay. Yeah, well, that's a mistake. We hit a guy. One of those things you've been hearing about. On the road. Who are you with? The girl? Nobody. Is that so? Yeah. It is. You said we. That's all. House is full up with mine. We got another displaced family of three sleeping in the barn. You and your daughter are welcome to rest there when we're done here. I didn't catch your name, darling. Clem... Clementine. Can't imagine what you've been through, Clementine. I'm looking after her until we uh, find her parents. Hey, Dad. So I'm thinking, first thing tomorrow, we gotta reinforce the fence around the farm. That doesn't seem necessary. I don't know what you saw on TV or heard on the radio, but there's some serious shit hitting the fan. I don't think anyone knows how big it is yet. Your son's right. You're gonna want to fortify this place. Stuff like that doesn't happen around here, Sean. Dad, I'm serious. Lee, come on. Tell him what you saw out there, man. I saw a cop come back from the dead. Well, do what you think you should. We got plenty of chores as it is. Lee and those folks in the barn can help out in the morning. We gotta do it. Really. I already said okay. Well, I'm all done here. It should start to feel better tomorrow. Thanks. If your leg gets hot or the swelling doesn't go down, you're probably dealing with an infection. What do we do then? We'll probably just have to shoot you. We'll clean it, redress it, and you'll be fine. <laughs> okay, that'd be preferable. There's blankets and such That's in the funny. barn. We'll be seeing you bright and early. Come tomorrow, which way do you think you're headed? Towards making, I suppose. All right, then. Sorry, this episode hasn't mean really much gameplay. It smells like... I know what it smells like. Duty. <laughs> Duty. I missed my mom and dad. I bet, Clem. How far is Savannah? Pretty far. Oh, okay. Alrighty, that's cool. I like how she sleeps with her hat on. She rocks that hat, yo.
She rocks it like a G. I love you, baby. <laughs> love you too. <laughs> Whoa. <sighs> Having a nightmare there? Lee? That's his name, Lee. I gotta get used to this. I know Clementine. Then Herschel. Sean. Hey, get up. Hello, you're new. <sighs> oh, I'm itchy. Well, you slept in a barn, little lady. Lucky you don't have spiders in your hair. <gasps> but I bet your daddy scared them all away, huh? I'm, uh, not her dad. Name's Lee. I'm Kenny. Dad, we're gonna build a fence! There's a tractor and everything! Oh my god, that... We better get going, or we won't hear the end of it. As hell. That's my boy, Ken Jr. We call him Duck, though. Duck? Yeah, nothing bothers him. Like water off a duck's back, you know? That's a valuable treat lately. No kidding. But frankly, I think it's because he's dumb as a bag of hammers. Dad! <laughs> but he makes up for it with enthusiasm. The word is you were on your way to Macon. My family's from there. Well, Macon's on the way, and personally, I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can knock a couple of heads together if he has to. I'll see what the girl would like. Ah, gotta consult the missus. I understand. Honey, Duck, this is Lee. And, uh, what's the girl's name? Clementine. Clementine. That is a very pretty name. Thanks. Well, we should get to work. We've all seen what those things can do out there, so the faster we get this fence up, the better. I wanna build a fence! Yeah? Well, I need a good foreman. You can sit on the tractor and yell at me whenever I take a water break. On the tractor? Cool! Duck and I will hop to it. I can keep right, an eye cool. on your little girl here on the porch. We can visit. Alrighty then. Alright, you people. Hello. You having a nice time with Katya Clementine? Yeah. That's cool. Hey there, uh, Kenny. Need any help? No, I think I got it. Do you need any help? What do you mean? I mean in taking care of that little girl. You know what you're doing? You got kids of your own? Nah, nah, no, no kids. Would liked one then. You know. How's your son doing? Good, I think. Kachi's got a sister up in Memphis. We were coming back from visiting her. We were in a gas station and some guy grabbed my boy. I thought he was kidnapping him. I was on the fucker in about two seconds and... Christ. Just lucky I was there. We saw a lot of bodies before we stumbled upon Herschel's. But we're a tough family, Lee. Ain't nothing gonna phase us. So what's your family's plan? Get back on down to Lauderdale and let this mess get sorted out. Government will start handing out shots and the National Guard will do its thing. On the odd chance things got too bad, we could hop on my boat, I guess. You've got a boat. I'm a commercial fisherman, catching mackerel, dolphin, whatever's biting and paying. Katya wouldn't be wild about it, but the boat's not that bad. All right, See nice, that's cool. I learned about Kenny's boat, that's right. Where are we going? Hey, you people. No. Um, I think we got it. We'll go this way. There you guys are, you fucks. Alright, we'll go talk to these guys and then end of the episode. How you doing, Duck? Good! I'm gonna drive the tractor! I'm the foreman! Lift with your back, Sean! You know how to drive it? Sure don't. I can give you a hell of a critique of the U.S. Farm Bill, though. I'm good. Sean's still working on that fence. Really? Hey, Lee. Oh. Need a hand? That'd be great. If you could cut those two bites to length, that sure speed things up. Alrighty. We'll do that. <laughs> 
My dad doesn't know how bad it is. No, he doesn't. I saw a guy in Atlanta kill a kid. A boy. Just shot him right in the face. <laughs> right in the face. Damn. Oh shit, damn. He didn't even hesitate. He just turned, put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes, and pulled the trigger. You don't see things like that. It's not like in the movies. They don't fall like you think. Did you have to do it? Do what? Kill. Have you had to off one yet? Oh, uh... I bashed a poor girl's brains in. Whoa. I couldn't do that. I'm just glad we're getting this fence built. Dad just wants to keep the family safe and thinks inviting people in is a bigger threat than whatever's out there. Alrighty. How about yours? How's your family? My brother and parents are in Macon. I hope. Oh man, I hope so too. Maybe it's not too bad there. That's probably all I need cut for now. Thanks. And Sean, thanks again for the ride. No problem, Lee. Couldn't leave you behind. Anyway, when you see my dad around, he might want some help in the barn. In the barn? Alright. Well, I'm going to have to end this episode here. So if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, and Lee will do 360s for you. That's only if he thumbs up, though. Lee will just stare at you like this pissed off if you don't and if you subscribe he will do 360s this way and do a fakie and another fakie and if you don't he'll stand there and slowly get closer and closer and closer and closer until he thinks you're one of the walkers and he will bash your brains in okay he'll probably won't do that it's probably not smart for me to threaten the people of the YouTubes. But anyways, rate, comment, and all you that crazy shit. Hair. It gets oh, thank you. Tingles. Hello. Hey there, girls. You two actually look relaxed. I think we're doing just fine. Clementine was just telling me about first grade. I thought you were talking oh, about uh, the hair. How was that? It's easy. Well, yeah. Hmm. So, you're good? Anyway, it's almost like we didn't see people eating each other for the past three days. It's peaceful <laughs> here, no? No. How did you handle getting through the city? Kenny just drove. We passed so many people that needed help, and we just passed people over some. Just, just... Uh, it's okay. It's fine. You don't have to say anymore. I want to go home tomorrow. But even then, I can't take away the things we... The things Doc went through. Don't you want to go back to the moment before you knew about all of this? Anybody in their right mind would. Families and barbecues and beers with good friends. All of those things. Those are the things we live for, right? With those gone, what's the point? So, uh, what do you do when corpses aren't walking around? I'm a veterinarian back in Fort Lauderdale. Like Herschel here, except more with dogs and cats and uh, not horses. What is it that you do, Lee? I used to teach up at the University of Georgia. We need to hope that we can go back to our jobs soon, Lee. Yeah. Back to normal. It can't stay like this. No, it can't. Uh, yeah, my mistake. We'll all be home soon. Back in a bit. Okay, Lee. Alrighty. Well, now we're going to end the episode here. So, like and favorite if you enjoyed. Subscribe. And, yeah. So, we'll see you guys later. Peace out.